Hi, I am Pradeep and in this video, I am going to teach you how to set pop-up and email automations using a free email marketing app in Shopify Store. So, let's move on. Let's go to Apps, Apps and Sales Gen Settings, Shopify App Store. Let's search for Award. So we have AV email marketing SMS power app by Avada and we are going to use it. Let's add app. It is a free app and has some amazing features as well as email automation. Let's install app. Let's skip SOS because for SMS startup, they will have to give us phone numbers as well, which most people don't do. So we will provide that for now. Let's set email only. Here you will have to upload your logo. I will upload a temporary logo to show you. So let's upload this one. You can also change button background color, button text color. You can also give discount. Let's give fifteen percent discount. Now let's proceed to set up form. Form is actually bubble. Now let's make some changes on this form. Let's. Change the image. Now there's more related to my niche. You can also change button color. Like this one. I don't want to use this, but I'm just showing you. Let's enable form. This can take some seconds. And the form is offset. So here we have four sections campaigns. When someone subscribes to your form or pop up, they are added to your customers list. You can use this campaign to send emails to all those customers. Like if you have Christmas sale and you want to send Christmas discount email to all your customers, you can set up that campaign here. Here we have automation that I'm going to show you how to set. So let's go to see all automation flow. So these are the emails that are triggered by some event and are sent automatically. So like we have welcome one email which is triggered by subscription. So when someone subscribes to your newsletter, this email is automatically sent. It is in draft mode right now, but let's publish it. So let's continue editing. And you can change wait time here as well. I will delete this because we don't want to wait. When someone subscribes to audience list, he should automatically get reply at right that moment. So let's delete it. Let's add this email. We can make any changes we want here. Like we can add a text. We can move it to the top as well. We can make any other changes that we want. So let's add some space here. We can also change this text. You can choose any text you want here. You can also add additional buttons, headings, logo, social buttons, videos, anything you want. So I will just go in here and show coupon. Make sure that you have set this coupon in the backend as well. I will show how to set discount coupons in another video. So let's save. 
Let's publish the email as well. Let's go live. You can also add multiple emails in only one trigger. Like you can add wait five minutes and send another email. Or wait one day and send another email. <laughs> like we can set here. Wait one day and send another email. This way they will receive multiple emails according to the events that you have set. But I want to do that for now. So let's delete it. And let's delete this wait as well. Let's go live again. Now let's go back. And you can see that one welcome email is already live. You can also set a one checkout email so that if someone adds a product to his cart but leaves without buying, this email will be triggered and sent to the customer. So you can edit it as well. I want to do that, but you can. You can also use tab press from here. You can also change any details that you want, like I did in the previous email. So let's save. Let's go back then. Now let's go live. Let's go back. And now we have two active email automations there. Now let's go to dashboard. Let's go to campaigns. Like I said, you can create any email using this new campaign and send it to all your customers. Like you can use this template. There are tens of templates to use. You can select any you want. You can make any changes you want. You can change pictures, change text according to your product. I want to bring that I already changed these contents in my previous email. So let's just move on. Here you can set who to send this, when to send this and all other details like this. You can see which option you selected. And after that, you can either send this email or schedule this email. I will finish this. And here all the data will be shown. I don't have any active customers, so none of the emails was sent. But for you, it will be sent to all your customers. Let's go to order. We can also edit our pop-up that we created in the start. So let's go there. You have to select what will trigger your power to show up. So it is by default one minute after closing the pop-up, but we will set it to one day. So that if someone closes this pop-up, this pop-up will appear again after waiting one day. So what will trigger the pop-up? I will set that this pop-up will show after the visit spends 30 seconds on your site. Let's save it. Now we have selected the trigger successfully. Let's edit design. You can make any changes here as well. Like you can make change text from here. You can change heading, button, anything you want. We have thank you page and teaser as well. You can make changes to any pages you want. Like I don't want to show teaser on mobile. So I will disable from here. So that it doesn't appear on mobile screen. Because it is distracting in this small screen. So let's save it. Let's go back. Don't forget to enable all these widgets on your theme as well. So let's go to online store. Let's customize theme. 
go to app embeds because all apps that had external codes in your theme needs to be allowed from Shopify theme. Let's go here. You can see that all these details are disabled. Let's enable, enable and save. Now let's go to our store home page. Let's wait for a few seconds and see if the pop-up appears automatically. This notification was sent instantly. And you can see that after waiting 30 seconds, pop-up has been triggered as well. So that's all you needed to know. Let's just subscribe. And I have subscribed. Let's go to customers and you can see that my name has been automatically shown here. And you can see that I was already a part of customers, so it isn't showing here. But if it was a random email, it will be showing email here instead of the name. So that's all you need to know. Thanks.